Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a strip plot. Uh, more specifically, a vertical strip plot. Now, a strip plot is just another version of a dot plot. And basically, a dot plot, you're just having dots represent uh, your series of data here. So in this case, we have two series of data. Maybe this, these are um, sales for the east and west division of something. And uh, I can just press the F9 key to randomize this data. And basically, it kind of shows you kind of a tendency of, of where uh, certain values uh, kind of line up. And so from our east, when we compare our east and west, we can see where these uh, uh, values kind of line up here if I do um, the F9 key a couple of times. And this is actually fairly easy to make. This is a, basically a scatter plot or XY scatter plot. And we're just charting uh, one series of data on uh, one axis. So let me go ahead and just plot some new data. Let me go ahead and create a new worksheet here. And we can, we can call this uh, east again. So this is going to be our y-axis. So if you notice from before, we have our, our x-axis is our horizontal axis, our y-axis is our vertical axis. And our values are going to be plotted along the y-axis. That's why I kind of named it y. x is always going to be the same. It's going to be uh, one point here. And so that's why I kind of charted, uh, set it up that way. So let's go back into sheet two here. So our y-axis, I'm just going to go ahead and just create some randomized data. I'll type equals rand between. I'm going to go select that, double click. So my bottom data, I'm going to choose 10. And then my top, not my top range, I'm going to choose 100. So this will generate a random number between 10 and 100. So I'll go ahead and close parentheses, press control enter. And once I press control enter, it will fill out this uh, function all the way to A19. Go press control enter, and we've got a bunch of data there. So if I press the F9 key, I'll go ahead and press the F9 key, you'll see that the, the function executes again. And it just creates um, and it just creates a random number there, and so I'm going to go ahead and create the uh, x, the x-axis values, and this I'm just going to put one for everything. Control Enter, and this is going to be one. I'm going to go ahead and click outside here, and go ahead and create a scatter chart. Go ahead and go to Insert, and I'm going to select from the charts group. I'm going to select a scatter chart here. So this is giving me an empty uh, chart, and what I can do is start to input data in. So I'm going to go under the select data. Once I once this is highlighted, our charts tool contextual menu comes up, and we've got we have two tabs in the ribbon. I'm going to go into design, go to select data, and I'm going to add some data. So I'm going to click add, and it's going to come up with my edit series window. The series name I'm just going to give it that east, and then my x values are going to be this right here. Select that range, and my y values. Let me go and delete this. Will be this range here, right? And then I've got my Click OK, click OK. Now basically I have my strip plot, my vertical strip plot. I can go ahead and get rid of the grid lines, select that, press delete. Get rid of the um, uh, these grid lines, press delete. And uh, this is kind of far out there. And the reason why Excel has done this is it's kind of done, it's kind of did a best guess of the range we would have to go for my horizontal axis. I'm going to have that go from uh, 0 to 3 instead. So what I can do is I can click on the horizontal uh, axis, right click and then select Format Axis. And what I want to do is maybe the minimum 0 and the maximum is going to be 3. And I want my units to be in, not in uh, decimals, but integers, whole numbers. So go ahead and Tab to execute that. You can see it, it changed from Auto to Reset. So basically, instead of using automatically doing it, uh, it, let you manually, it indicates that we've manually uh, adjusted those. So that's OK. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close that. And we've got our um, strip plot for east. Now, what is it? Let's say we wanted to create something for west. So I'll go ahead and just type west here. And let me move this chart a little bit over here so I have some room. And I'm just going to take this data, select that Control C to copy, because it's going to copy over the function and that one. But I'm going to change that later on to a two. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Control V to paste here. Now, the function's copied over well, but this, I want to change this to 2. So I'm going to go ahead and type 2. And then, since I selected this range of cells, Control enter that all changes there. And what I want to do is I want to put this data into here. So I'm going to go and select into the chart, go to Design, select Data, and I'm going to add uh, some new data. So I'm going to add the West data. And for my X values, it's going to be 2. And then for my Y values, delete that, 
it's going to be from uh, D3 to D19. And then click OK. And then go ahead and click OK to get out of this window. And basically now we've got our uh, different uh, strip plots. I can, put a I can put a title to this. I'm going to go ahead and add a title. Uh, let's see, chart title. And we can go east, double click this, east versus west. Right? And basically, I've pretty much created my strip plot. Uh, I don't really need this axis because the ones and twos don't really mean anything. They're just there to place the series of data. So I'm going to click on that and press delete. And that gets rid of the axis. It's still there, but it just kind of gets rid of it. Uh, it's still there to track, uh, place these, but it's uh, it's gone. So if I press F9, you can see now the values change a little bit. In most cases, you're not going to have to uh, have these random numbers uh, regenerate your 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 series of data here. And, and one of the reasons why I'm I'm using random random data is you kind of see a central tendency. I'm trying to get a chart here where I can see some random tendencies where the the data kind of bulks up or, or kind of like. Uh, groups into, groups in areas where it groups into. So if I keep pressing the F9, you can see for uh, West, let me go put a legend here. Let me go put a legend here. Uh, for West, you can see that it kind of, there's some areas that bunch up here around 80 to 90. So uh, that's what a strip plot does. It kind of just gives you another view to chart uh, some series of data. And this is the way that you can create it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.